guys? Boricua Boxing reporting for the PugilistReport.com. We're here at the Boardwalk Court in Atlantic City where Lucas Mitzi just scored a sensational, brutal knockout over Lamont Peterson. We're here at the post-fight press conference. Let's see what the guys have to say. Mucha felicidad de Lucas. Congratulations. Ven por aquí, ven por aquí para, para el rótulo, para entrevistarlo. Te llamo todo el equipo, otra vez. Vamos, vamos. Charle, charle, charle. Hable ahora. Lucas, te ve bien emocionado. ¿Cómo te sientes? No, muy emocionado. La verdad que muy contento de, del triunfo que, que logramos. Ok. Uh, he, he feels very good and he's very emotional about the, uh, this great victory. How surprised were you that you were able to get him out of there that quickly? ¿Te sorprendió que los sacaste muy pronto en el tercer asalto? Eh, sí, un poco sí, pero bueno, laburamos muy fuerte con el equipo. Eh, pensaba que iba a hacer una pelea a la larga, y, pero bueno, la definimos antes. Yeah, a little surprised, uh, but you know, I worked very hard with the team. We worked very, very hard. We figured it was going to be a long fight, but uh, we worked very hard for this fight. Lucas, did you train through the whole fight in Argentina or you train anywhere else? Argentina, te entrenaste en Argentina toda la pelea. Argentina, Argentina. siempre me entrenaste. In the future, if you want to fight, say, the word is on the street with Danny Garcia, are you going to be training in Argentina or you want to train somewhere else? Vas, vas a entrenar en Argentina de nuevo para las <coughs> próximas peleas, Danny Garcia. Lo que sí, sea, sí, que seguro. La verdad que vamos a seguir laburando allá. Hemos hecho un buen campamento. Eh, tenemos muy buenos sparring de Argentina y la verdad que a ellos les quiero agradecer mucho que me estuvieron ayudando a todos los pibes que me ayudaron. Sí. He says, yeah, you know, I feel very good training over there. We've had great preparation out there in Argentina and, you know, I want to thank all the sparring partners. We have great sparring in Argentina and I just want to thank all of them that helped me out. When you had him down early, was it clear to you that you were going to be able to get him out of there early tonight? La, la primera este, caída cuando lo tumbaste, este, ¿tú supiste que ya lo ibas a, a matar, lo ibas a terminar? Sí, sí, sabía que, sentí la mano que, que entró fuerte en la cabeza y sabía que, que dentro de poquito se iba a terminar todo. Yes, I think so, you know, I felt the punch, I felt it, I threw it and I felt it hitting him and, and you know, I felt that uh, I got him and I was able to stop him. There was, there was feel that he quieted the, uh, the, the critics with this type of uh, win, with this caliber of a fighter? ¿Tú crees que este, callaste las bocas de los críticos que te critican en esta pelea? De más de uno. <laughs> More than one. ¿Eres el, ¿Eres el mismo peleador que peleó con, contra Sab Jura? ¿O eres un peleador diferente? Y si lo eres, explica, por favor. ¿Es yeah. el mismo peleador que peleó contra Sab Jura? ¿O es mejor? ¿Es diferente ahora? Sí, la verdad que sí. Soy un boxeador diferente. Con ellos agarré con Sab Jura y luego con Alexander. Las derrotas me enseñaron mucho y, y de ahí aprendí que tengo que venir a... Yeah, I learned so much. I learned so much from those fights. Uh, you know, Zab Judah, Devin Alexander. I learned that uh, each time out, I have to come out and kill. Kill up. There was some thought that Peterson would fire back with his own power and Lucas would uh, feel feel his power. Did you, did you feel any shots from him? Did you feel any of his power? Muchos este, pensaron que... Este, Lamont Peterson también tenía una pegada y que te iba a pegar y iba a regresar con su poder. ¿Sentiste sus golpes? No, no, la verdad que no. Me conectó dos veces fuerte, pero no, no sentí. No, you know, he caught me with two good punches, but I didn't really feel anything. <laughs> hay rumores que hay, que hay planificaciones. Hay rumores que hay planificaciones para una pelea contra Daniel García en septiembre. ¿Qué usted piensa de eso? There's rumors, there's rumors that you, there's a possible fight with Danny García en septiembre. What do you think about that? Sí, eh, esos son los rumores. La verdad que me lo están diciendo hace rato. Lo estoy pidiendo hace rato. Pero siempre me fueron pe poniendo peleadores adelante. Bueno, ahora corría Peterson, así que venga. ¿Cómo, cómo de rumores? He said yes, you know, yes. Uh, you know, I've heard about the rumors also, and of course I want that fight. And, uh, I fought other opponents, they put it, everybody they put in front of me, and now that I got rid of Peterson, I would like to fight Dan. Eric, as, as the Golden Boy representative here, what can you tell us about plans to make that fight? I think that would be a terrific fight. It's a great fight, two young champions, and uh, if we can get it done, we're going to do our best Eric, to get it done. it's a good fight, but has that fight? Where would you want to do that fight? What's that? Where would you want that fight? Oh, we would have to talk about it. We would have to, I mean, I think it's probably an East Coast fight because Ooh, Danny's stuck. He's, he's developing a good, uh, a good following out here. Danny is, obviously, and Lucas now. We saw some supporters from Argentina. So, yeah, I mean, it's a fight that maybe belongs in the East Coast. You said that we have to talk about this fight. You have not spoken to his promoter because this promoter indicates that there have been talks about a September fight. We had preliminary talks, okay. but we wanted to concentrate on this fight. Okay. Okay. We felt that you know Lamont was no joke and it wasn't going to be that that easy of a fight. So obviously we had some talks, preliminary talks, and you know now we have to go into details. Eric, can you ask him now with the inclusion of 
Al Heyman, clearly Danny Garcia being also an Al Heyman fighter, does he feel that there's a stronger possibility that he may not get that Danny Garcia fight? Ahora que estás con Al Heyman, obviamente él también representa a Danny Garcia. ¿Crees que te va a ayudar en la pelea o no te va a ayudar a conseguir esa pelea? Eh, me dijeron que sí. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, yes. I was told yes. How good does it feel to know that Danny was sitting ringside tonight, witnessed this demolition, and you know, you sent the message directly to him live and, live and direct? ¿Cómo se siente que Danny estaba presente en esta pelea y te vio hacer eso y le mandaste su mensaje a Dan. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí, me, me pone muy contento que se haya venido a preocupar y por lo que le va, lo que le va a pasar cuando nos enfrentemos y lo señalé, le dije que el próximo es él. <laughs> he said, yeah, no, it feels very good. It feels very good, obviously. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, he looked a little bit worried. And I pointed at him and I told him, this is, I'm coming for you next. Ask him, does he feel that Danny doesn't want the fight? I mean, you know, of course there's outside things that can stop the fight from happening. But does he feel in his heart that Danny doesn't want the fight and that's why it hasn't happened. I mean, Danny's the champion. If he, if he wants to fight Lucas, he can ask to fight Lucas and make the fight happen. ¿Tú, tú crees que Danny no quiere la pelea? Que no quiere la pelea. Obviamente, hay muchos aspectos en hacer una pelea grande así, pero ¿tú crees que él quiere la pelea o no, no la quiere? Si es peleador y si es un buen boxeador, supongo que sí. Como yo siempre me, me dijeron pelear con este, vamos, y creo que si a él le dicen va a pelear con Matisse, tiene que subir. If he's, a, if he's a great champion, if he's a great fighter, he's going to want to take the fight. He's going to want to do the fight, just like I have. I fought everybody they put in front of me. Lucas, te pregunto eso porque lo que pasa es que tú has peleado tanta gente para llegar a este punto y te has puesto a pelear con Dani hace mucho ya. Por eso te digo. Y por eso que yo te quiero preguntarte a ti si tú piensas que él es que está asustado. Y por eso que te están poniendo tanta cosa adelante. He says, you think that Dani actually wants to fight. You think he wants to fight because you keep getting different opponents. And it, this this fight's been talked about for a while. Do you think Danny actually wants to fight? Sí, hoy se lo vio un poco contento cuando lo señalé. Me dijo que sí, así que bueno, ojalá que que dejen de dar vuelta y nos nos encierren a los dos y arriba el ring. He says, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, you know what? I mean, I looked at him. He looked a little bit, you know, he he signaled to me that he wants to fight. So, you know, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fight him, and hopefully they can lock us both into that and that ring, and we can fight. You've been singular singularly focused on getting the Danny Garcia fight. I want to mention another name, and it may seem like a lofty goal, but do you feel with this demolition that maybe you move even closer to a fight with, say, a Floyd Mayweather? Este, obviamente, todos están hablando de Dani García, de esa próxima pelea, pero con lo que hiciste hoy, ¿tú crees que estás más cerca posiblemente de pelear con un Floyd Mayweather? Sí, ojalá, ojalá que, que se den esas peleas. Eh, si es necesario, así me lo ofrecen, estoy dispuesto a pelear con Mayweather y subir a... a Yes, of course, yeah, you know what, I mean, hopefully, I get offered that fight, but I would be willing to move up to 147 and fight Canelo. Yeah, Canelo too, I'll fight Canelo. Last, 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 one last question, we got to get him to a press conference. One last question, Amir Khan, if, if, he, if they offer him Amir Khan before the Danny Garcia fight can be made, would he take it? Si te ofrecen la pelea de Amir Khan antes de Danny, la tomas? Sí. Yes, you'll fight anybody. Gracias. Gracias, Lucas. ¿Qué quiere decirle a, lo, a la fanática? A la fanática suya. A todos los fanáticos que me vinieron a apoyar. Eh, a la gente que vinieron a apoyar. Muchas gracias. Gracias.